So, so I, I made, made this point, point that, that I think I this, think world, this world, world is fake. fake. I think it's the construct. construct. I think that I think it's, that um, it's um, easy, to, easy to maneuver if you have an onk stick. My onk stick gets me around. It does. I use these torsion fields and frequencies also. Do you know what you're doing here? Do you know what you're doing here? And then of course this. Are you sure? Could you be doing more? So vibration is just where it's at. Do you give vibration is where it's at. And if you can vibrate yourself in the right positive mindset, it's not easy. It's not easy. There are so many things competing with your your uh, mindset, your mood, the world around you, providing you all kinds of shit to discourage the um, the positive flow and of course I also like to say that I, ma I make the positive electron which doesn't exist but I pull it out of my wall socket I pull it out of a portal that it comes through when it charges my shit and I turn that into the positive electron and I connect that with my organ stuff. And I change this reality, bringing the good that I have within me out. Which is per my contract for being here. I've got a high play. Look <laughs> in my room. I told her I would invite her in there and I even apologized for being a dick because she was a very horrible cat to be on her uh, heat or whatever. Now the baby cat's doing it too. Look, I don't have any cats. If I'm going to deal with the cats, I'm going to deal on a day-by-day -day basis. I'm going to have to talk to them and see what they're doing. A lot of times they enrich my life. A lot of times they do. They do. There was a stone lion cat at work that enriched my life. And there were three gargoyles of stone. They enriched my life too. And my ex-wife is commenting on my stuff, which means... Uh, she's not so closed off and she can communicate and I think it's important because that person and I had pre-incarnative contracts of shit to do on this earth at certain times and somehow we both knew that and had that experience but it's information you only have half of difficult when you don't have it but in your subconscious brain which you know it may expose you to it letting you know a couple of times throughout your life but it sinks so deep that it's just something that I know and I feel that she knew too so now we're going to get through this chaos stage of this earth 
and there's still some things that I want, you know, just for the time that I'm here. I don't want to go and travel the world. I don't want to do that. I'm not saying that I wouldn't, but my goals are a lot more simple and personal to this matrix. Because everybody has what they want. They have to obtain it by uh, seeking it out and having certain things in your in your life um, longing for brings the proper desire for you to achieve and get it. And that's what's cool about this place because it enriches your experience when you go back into the other realms where things aren't so dense. saying food for thought